Meow, 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 meow. I was about to say, if I can't break these with this, this sword, I don't know how the hell I'm gonna proceed. Come on. I can't be losing to Stalfoses. Come on now. Ooh! Thank you! Thank God, it's highly more like it. Oh, nice. Okay. So some of them I can just do that. So, Impala is very, um, generous. Because those aren't actually rupees. Those are, uh, it acts as experience points, not as money. It looks like a rupee, but it's not. Right, so instead of acting like, like a, a money source or whatever. Right, I, I can't think of the word, but like... It's not a form of payment. Right? It's simply for experience points. That's, that's what that item is now. Now I get it. And now that I know what it is, I'm gonna want to grab it as as many times as I can. Oh, frick. Wait, so I never got that far in, um... I never got that far in Zelda 2, so I don't even know if I'm fighting this guy correctly. I guess if you could just jump, like, five feet in the air and then stab somebody, right? Why wouldn't you? Because that's a really weird way to fight uh, enemies. Yeah, Stalfoses aren't that good at fighting. Alright, so I'm st instead of uh, going for this money thing again... Oh, I can hit... Interesting. It's so weird how the mechanics work in this. That the sword just like lingers for a while? It's like, why? Wow, that's clutch. He dropped one. He dropped a rupee. Nice! I don't want that crap. <laughs> I want... I want none but attack and defense. Oh, right. Dude. And Palau did himself. You don't hear those sound effects? Um... Oh, yeah, let me save. Save current game. <laughs> the thing is, like, I don't... So this is for anybody that's watching, right, for the first time. I don't use save states to ignore challenge. It's simply, my logic is, I'm going straight for the restart. My, my logic is, if I completed the puzzle, right, or got past the challenge, I don't feel I have to do it again. Why would I have to do it again, right? That's not growing, that's just repetitious, and it's just stressful, right? Oh, shoot. Okay, this is a bad spot. I should not be fighting this guy in the corner. At least he backs up. I wonder why his choice of weapon is like that sharp mace. I think, at least I think it's a mace. No! He's pretty good. He, like, switches up on me with that, that... With moving in and then moving out. Like, I'm not ready for it. What the hell is the way this guy's fight- He's fighting so weird, this guy. Alright, that's not gonna work. Restart. Come on, I can't block that. I can't block that. I can't shield his weapon. Are you serious? Dude, that's so lame. Look at him spam the weapon. He's literally spam- he swung it like three times in a row. Dude, this is pissing me off already.
It's like, come on, man. And thank God there's a platform here for me to think. Was he just dancing? Dude, come on, man. That's it? Only when I when I hit, you have to hit immediately after? How am I gonna win then? I understand it's a fight, but god damn, you're a boss, dude. Like, I have to win eventually. He's like s hitting so hard, I fly through the sky. I get two hits. For some reason, it counts as one block. That's annoying. Two hits. Dude, you gotta be kidding me with that. What am I doing wrong here? I I'm Alright, well, at least I don't have to back up for no reason. That is kind of funny. Imagine your opponent being so big you have to jump to hit him in the head. If, if that's what you... If you have to jump in the air to even reach his head, why are you even fighting a, guy, a man like that? I think I got it. Got him! I needed a running start. That's what I needed to do. Because, like, I noticed earlier, I just didn't say it out loud, but... You can't just hit him in the head. You need to hit him, like, on his, like, forehead. Like, you need to literally hit him on his head. Like, slice him. Basically, you're giving him a haircut. Did it. Beautiful! Four shields! Four swords? Four shields! I don't want it. <laughs>